And the sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. The tortoise has outpaced the hare. Welcome back to another Dan Square and video, you Danimals. I forgot to mention, but I have a new background for my streams and videos. Because I completed a life goal last week, I became a first-time homeowner. Seven Star Dragonite is here, along with some pretty great outbreaks that you can shine against in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But to me, it feels like it's been forever since our last 7-star terror raid. I'm glad to be jumping back into it with you. I had a ton of fun with the Danimal Kingdom on the Night 1 stream. A special shout out to Danimal High Council member Derek Fung for giving me this build. Let's get right into it. Torkoal is the star of today's video. Make sure you check out the description for the full build. Long story short, you gotta give your Torkoal 26 HP up, 26 iron, and 1 calcium. Hyper train all of its IVs except for attack. Give it an ability patch for its hidden ability shell armor to protect it from critical hits. It's turtle time. Time to see who will win between a race between the tortoise and the dragon, not the tortoise and the hare. So turn one, it is burning jealousy because every time on turn one, Dragonite is gonna use Dragon Dance to boost its attack and speed. So burning jealousy guarantees the burn. So again, uh, check out the description for the turn by turn steps that you can follow to, again, like the title says, easily solo. So we're gonna go with clear smog number two. It is turtling time. So the goal here, we're not using taunts like Corviknight. We're using clear smog to negate Dragon Dance after it happens. Dragon Dance's AI is programmed to prioritize using Dragon Dance at all times to make sure that it's attack and speed are at plus six. If it's not, it will use Dragon Dance. We did Burning Jealousy, Clear Smog. Here's one Iron Defense. After this Iron Defense, we will use Clear Smog until Dragonite nullifies our stats. But until then, one Dratini. Or not, oh my goodness. Or read the chat. Because the chat is trying to ask me if I think Dratinis can beat Dragonite. And for the record, I don't think four Dratinis can beat Dragonite. So there's our Iron Defense. We have some extra healing from Arbalova. I should mention, Arbalova and Gardevoir are the two best AI teammates you can have for this build. Because Arbalova halves the damage from Earthquake. And Gardevoir just gives best extra healing with Life Do. I have done it several times without this. But I'm just keeping the Arbalova. You don't need it. But for whatever reason, if you're having a hard time, you can reset for part of our, our, our Balaba. So there's our negate. So now at this point, we're going to start using Iron Defense. I'm going to use one Iron Defense. Then I'm going to use one Clear Smog. That will... Actually, let me check because it is still Dragon Dancing. So let me take a look and see where Dragonite's attack is. We definitely are going to need to clear Smog it again soon because when Dragonite negates its own debuff, it's at plus four, so not yet. But when Dragonite negates its own debuffs, we're going to have to get that burn back on there with Burning Jealousy. So we're going to work on raising our, raising our defense to plus six. Dragonite only negates our stats once and only uh, clears its debuff once. We don't have to worry about it doing it again. So here, it, all right, there's the shield and it will clear its debuffs. So I'm gonna opt for the clear smog. Yep. So let's just double check the stats. When in doubt, check the stats. Terror raids all about pattern recognition. Well, let's go clear smog. That's gonna bring, get rid of its uh, plus five and attack and speed. And it's gonna make it favor using Dragon Dance. And so how Burning Jealousy works, if the target has raised its stats that turn, it burns it as well. So it's a guaranteed burn and we can do it through the shields. So unlike Willow the Wisp or Willow Wisp, wait, Willow Wisp, Willow Wisp. It doesn't work during the shield. All right, it didn't use, it didn't use Dragon Dance. Not great. So I'm gonna Burning Jealousy twice. Cause we wanna get the burn on there. I mean, yeah, we want it to burn because that halves the damage. We love that. So there we go. So you see, it favors Dragon Dance, but it, we did extreme speed, not the end of the world. Now we'll get that burn on there, halving the damage, and we'll double check the stats. I mean, I feel like beating the dead horse. 
we will want to double check the stats at all times because we need i think one more iron defense yeah one more iron defense and that's fine I don't, we're not going to clear smog again. It is what it is. I'm going to iron defense and I'm going to terrestrialize now. I probably, you probably could have done a little bit earlier. I held off doing it this time because I had the Arbalava to soften the damage from Earthquake. Usually you'll want to do it. I'll probably put in the description on your first uh, iron defense, you, you terrestrialize. That way you're no longer taking super effective damage from Earthquake. You would take super effective damage from Hurricane. So there's our third and final Iron Defense. At which point... Yeah, well then we can start attacking. We're good to go. Our burn... It's a bit of a setup. And... But now we're good to go. We have the Shell Armor ability. We don't have to worry about critical hits. We have the Shell Bell. I was using the metronome for extra damage, but I opted for the more consistency from the shell bell because then you you start playing the game like, okay, I'm attacking with metronome for extra damage, but I have to mix in heal cheers. It's probably not worth it. So I'm going to just body press until we get to max HP. Once we get to max HP, like we are pretty much now, I'm going to use an attack cheer. That way it will boost our attack because we have another way to increase our damage we can't lower dragonite's defense and our defense is maxed out so now we'll just swing press a and win be close on time but hey gen 3 is my favorite region love the hoenn region glad to see an og like torkoal thrive We're battling the animations from our ball of a grassy terrain and scale shots. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. The tortoise has outpaced the hare for a second time. Easily solo. The bar's low. What Pokeball are you using to catch a seven star Dragonite in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I'm going with the Ultra Ball for the matching yellow. None of the Pokeballs really jumps out. So yeah, let me know in the comments. What Pokeball you're using to catch Dragonites. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using body press on that subscribe button for more Dan Squared. Thanks for watching and happy Dragonite season.